In the series of alkanes reactions, in the previous video I talked about combustion and I showed you how to use combustion and what is combustion, what are the products of combustion. Now I want to talk about cracking and hydrocracking and I want to show I want to show you what is cracking and what is hydrocracking. So cracking or catalytic cracking of large hydrocarbons at high temperature produce smaller hydrocarbons. So we, I talked about large or larger molecular weight hydrocarbons and small organic compounds. And I said earlier that usually smaller organic compounds are more valuable comparing to the to those kind of organic compounds with large chemical structure or large molecular weight. So it's better to somehow convert these large hydrocarbons and convert them to smaller hydrocarbons by breaking those bonds. So one of these methods to break those bonds is called cracking. cracking as different types of methods, we have thermal cracking, we have catalytic cracking, and we have hydro cracking. Thermal cracking is not very common now. It is kind of obsolete and very old process to break the bonds of large hydrocarbons. But right now with new technology and advanced catalyst, we can have it in lower temperature and have this uh, cracking at the lower temperature. So that's why we have catalytic cracking, which is much more popular than thermal cracking. And we have also hydro cracking. So catalytic cracking of large hydrocarbons at high temperatures produces smaller hydrocarbons. The cracking process usually operates under conditions that give maximum yields of gasoline. So gasoline, is very valuable and contains lots of small hydrocarbons. So that's why we need to use these kind of processes to provide uh, gasoline with high octane number. In hydrocracking, hydrogen is added to give saturated hydrocarbons. Cracking without hydrogen gives mixtures of alkanes and alkenes. So when we add hydrogen, we can saturate it, we can convert all of the alkenes to alkane. So that basically produces alkane with smaller hydrocarbon, smaller chemical structure. So let's have some example. So at the top, we have catalytic hydrocracking or sometimes called cat hydrocracking. You have C12H26, long chain alkane. And in the presence of hydrogen and heat and catalyst, we can decompose it to two smaller hydrocarbons, which are C5H12 and C7H16, two smaller alkane. Another one is catalytic cracking in the bottom one. We have C12H26, the same along chain alkane. In the presence of heat and catalyst, no hydrogen, we will have two different organic compounds. As you see in the top one, we have C5H10, which belong to alkene group. 